Hello everybody! Um, it is 1.56 in the morning currently. Um, I just got done studying for my measurements final. Um, that is going to be at 11.30 in the morning. I went to Perkins earlier, I guess I should say last night technically. I went at 10 o'clock and studied with a friend and I had tons of coffee so I'm kind of wired awake. Um, I just thought I'd start off uh, the 10 days till Christmas vlog now just so I have something to roll with into the morning once I'm awake and after the final and everything. Um, I did have on my uh, 12 days till Christmas vlog, um, Boeing43 asked if I could make a video on how to use crutches because he had just broken his ankle and he's not sure how to use crutches. So I will be doing that in this video. And also on my 11 days till Christmas video, I've had a request from Chipmunk Man um, if I wear glasses or contacts and if so, to do a review on those. So I guess that will be coming up as well. So I've got tons to do. I've got my final to take. Um, I've got two requested videos to make. So yeah, it's going to be a pretty good day. Pretty good 10 days till Christmas vlog. And I am going to go ahead and get some sleep. And we'll resume this after the final. I'm so tired. I just finished my uh, measurements final <coughs> excuse me I didn't go too bad it wasn't hard um, we had extra credit opportunity and I took full advantage of that um, the video I was talking about yesterday in my 11 days till Christmas um, the presentation we had to do um, I ended up getting a 94 on it so that bumped me up a whole letter grade I needed that A in that class so that is awesome um, I have two more finals to go. I have um, one tomorrow at 11.30, which is my physiology one. I'm super nervous about that, so I'm about to study all day for it. I also promised um, Boeing 43 that I would make the video on how to use crutches for his broken ankle, so I also have to do that today. And then my community health final is um, online, and it's due Sunday at 11.59. I might take that one tonight just to get it out of the way. Um, Obviously, I mean, I have Quizlet and I can use all my notes, so it won't be bad. I'm just really worried about my physiology one tomorrow, so I'm going to go up to my room now and just start studying away for that. Because I need at least a B on that one. So, fingers crossed. Pray. Hi! A uh, quick update for you guys. Um, I know I said I was going to be packing some stuff up. And I ended up doing that. If you can tell, my walls are bare. There's no pictures on them anymore. Um, I'm going to be hanging them up in sort of a different way because all of them like fell. And for the quick update, I know I just put a college dorm room tour up, but I also rearranged my room a little bit. So I will go through that now. All right, so when we start over by the fridge area, um, I scooted it over more towards the wall. Um, I angled my TV a little more, so it faces the bed, the desk and everything is the same. I pushed the printer over so the edge of the TV would inhibit. Um, more space between my desk area and the dresser. Everything on the desk is still the same. And then we get over to the bed. <clears throat> I flipped the bed the other way, so the long ways is going this way, and that's like the width now instead of it going this way. Um, and it's also pushed up against the wall, as you can see. And I used to have that little uh, nightstand with the lamp on it, and there is the nightstand with the lamp. It's got all my finals, which I just took that one today, physiology tomorrow. Um, flip the rug the other way, it's crooked. Flip the rug the other way. I just feel like there's so much more space, you know? Like, look at all this. And 
And plus that little like corner back there was so comfy last night and I liked, it was just pressed up into the body pillow. I was so warm and comfy. I did not want to get out of bed, but had that final, so I had to. And you, and I, uh, like I said, my comforter is reversible and I flipped again. I don't know, just something new. And let's see, I organized it a little better down here. So that looks good. And the shoe area is actually a little bit more organized. Um, where are my blue ones today? So yeah, that's what I did last night when I was taking study breaks. Okay, um, I'm doing this video for Boeing 43. It was requested to teach him how to use crutches. Um, he broke his ankle two days ago. Now it should be in acid. Asked that I would make this video for him teaching him how to use crutches. <clears throat> I'm sorry for bumming really hard. It's just finals week, so I'm not caring anymore. Um, but. I personally was never taught how to use crutches. I just kind of learned myself. Um, about seven, yeah, seven years ago, I tore my ACL and meniscus, which would be my freshman year of high school. I tore that on my right knee. Then my junior year of high school, I tore my meniscus again. So I've had two right knee surgeries. In my freshman year of college, I had FAI corrected in my right hip. And now next Thursday, I will have FAI and um, a labral repair in my left hip. So I will show you how I do my crutches. Okay, so all my surgeries have been on my right leg. And when I had my knee surgery, I just kind of had it on like this, like, hovering with the ground and you want crutches on ground first push up swing forward and I'm 5'6 you can see um, the crutches are on the 5'6 mode it does not touch my armpit we do not want that um, I am a medical student so like there's tons of nerves in your armpit and when you actually like put all the weight down like this with the crutches you are killing those nerves so we do not want that. You actually want all your upper body, these little handles right here, your palms, it should just be, see I'm not touching my armpits, it's like all upper body. It's really easy, it's just like swinging motions, like upper body and kick off if the leg has not injured. Um, <clears throat> and I've never had like broken ankle or ankle problems, but when I had my hip surgery, my first one, I was allowed to put some weight on my leg. So I was just told not to put all my weight on my leg, but just like, do like this, and then put weight on the non-injured leg, and then put more of the weight on your upper body, and just kind of roll off the tippy toe of the injured leg. So there's that. Then, um, a month after hip surgery, I was, um, I was practicing a physical therapy using just one crutch. I can show you that if you need that. Um, it's not that hard. So you would think like, say, right leg is injured leg. You'd want all the weight on the non-injured leg like this. That's not right. That's what I thought when I went to therapy. But you actually go like this. Crutch step at the same time. Just like that. It's very simple. Um, Boeing, good luck with your ankle. Um, it's, crutches aren't really that bad. A lot of times, like, I put padding down right here because it could, like, I get bad chafing, like, right back here just from it because it's all like upper body it's it hurts sometimes right there so some like 
sometimes you put like wash rags down. I've put like stuffed animals, like small stuffed animals on it. Just whatever, fuzzy socks, anything that will pad this. Cause this honestly like just lifts up. Like it's nothing. So just, yep. So that's how you use crutches. They're not all that fun, honestly, so. Although it is fun, like, once you actually start getting used to crutches, like, I'm like, you can just swing on them. I did that with my knee surgery. My mom got so mad I was gonna hurt myself because I had that huge brace on my knee. But, like, just try to hold yourself up. They're not bad, I promise. 